Hey everyone, we're gonna weigh out this um, uh, primary arms five to twenty-five by fifty-six. Okay, so that's this one here. Okay, so I have this mounted on this uh, UTG thirty-four millimeter um, mount. Um, it's like the mount is like thirty-five dollars uh, compared to the Area Precision one, which is like closer to like it's like ninety-five dollars. They're both at the same height, so you got to get the one that says high, okay, so that you have enough clearance uh, to clear the the bell, okay? Um, so let's uh, get this on scale. So we got two pounds, eight ounces, almost two pounds, nine ounces, okay? So that's like a, almost a full pound heavier than my LPVOs with their mounts, okay? Um let me do this. I, I'm, so I'm going to mount this on an AR with a 16-inch barrel, and let's see what kind of weight we got. Okay, hold on for a minute. Okay, so I mounted it on this uh, 16, this AR here with a 16-inch barrel. That's the uh, Palmetto 16-inch upper on an aerial lower, and we are at. You see it? Yeah, nine pounds, two ounces. Okay, uh, so this is like. Uh, that's heavy. That's almost as heavy as like my AR-10 with a red dot. <laughs> okay, uh, not quite there, but it's all, it's all, it's 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 heavy. Um, uh, it, this will never replace like the LPVO. Okay, because uh, this is just heavy. Okay, I actually uh, I've already had it outside and I was shooting it, and uh, yeah, this thing is this is this is definitely a special purpose rifle. Now I came in here. One of the things that I did is I. Um, I had the scope a little further back. I had to move it up a little bit because what I was finding is I had to extend the stock out a lot more uh, to get that eye relief. That actually has very generous eye relief, so you can definitely like uh, match up to the. Let me show you guys. Yeah, you could be like just just a little bit forward here. Um, that's good because now I got enough space there. I'm going to put a bubble level back there. Okay, and uh, I had an AR-10. I was putting the bubble level up here because with the magnifier, I didn't have space back there. Uh, but with this, I got a little bit more space back there. So the bubble level is going to go back over there. I've already had it outside. I was shooting it. It's just like I brought it inside um, to move the scope up a little bit. Um, and, um, and you know, basically uh, I decided, hey, wait, I forgot to weigh it. Uh, so that's what the weight is coming in. Now, this is only going to be on this AR-15 for, I don't know, maybe a couple of months while I test it. Eventually, it's going to end up on an AR-10. Um, but I figured, hey, let me, you know, I got like uh, a 22 conversion bolt right there. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of shooting with the 22. Uh, basically, I'm putting it here so I can really test this thing out. So I'm going to shoot 22s. I'm going to shoot 5.56 five, in there. Um, and then, you know, eventually, we're going to get it on a 308 and get this out to a 1,000-yard range. Okay. Now, uh, this mount is not going to stay on here. This is going to get a 20 MOA mount. I was able to find one from... Um, um, shit, I forgot. Uh, hold on, I forgot the name of the company. Yeah, so I've ordered an Arkin 20 MOA mount, which basically points points it up a little bit higher to allow you to use more of the you know the um the, the adjustments in the mill because normally like you don't click down, you're only clicking up, so you're you're almost like not using half of your adjustments in the scope. And for the distances that I want to go out to at at a thousand yards. I need, I want to be able to use those adjustments. So, so this is going to be on here. This mount's going to be on here temporarily until I get the, uh, the, the 20 MOA mount.